I love coding, but what I don't love is getting stuck with a bug that's hard to solve. If you run into a bug and you know what's wrong, that's not the end of the world. You can fix it. You know what's wrong. The worst part about coding is when you run into a bug and you don't know what's wrong. Maybe you have a so-called logical error. And so you don't know how to fix it. That can ruin your whole workday because you could literally spend a couple hours just figuring out what's wrong. And if you're really unlucky, it turned out to be a super simple fix. So if you look at a developer's time, it's actually spent a lot on fixing bugs or fixing errors. And in the world of Java, JavaScript, we have gotten rid of a significant number of mistakes with TypeScript actually. So if you make a typo or you pass the wrong type, these very simple bugs are easily solved these days. But there are still a huge class of bugs and errors, which are more, I would say, like logical errors. I'll show you an example here. All right, so let's say I have a to-do list app. Now I want to add something here to the list, but when I click the button, nothing happens. Now let's have a bug here. Now when I look at the code, I have that event handler function defined here. Now it turns out to be a typo and it's easily solved because it's it's a red squiggly line, right? So this is easy mistake to solve these days. But there are many other types of issues. So for example, also styling related issues. What if you have a clash of styles? This is actually still very tricky. So now when I go here, it's very dark, but I was expecting this to be maybe a lighter zinc code. And so now I don't understand why it's so dark. So an error like this is already trickier to fix. So I want to introduce you to today's sponsor, which is Lata AI. They actually have a dedicated solution on fixing bugs since bugs can take up a huge part of your day so it's really valuable if you can fix bugs faster so i installed the letter ai extension and if there's something wrong here i can do command shift l or control shift l from windows so here i can describe what's wrong so background is too dark it should be the light 200 color and let the ai now will actually take a look at my code and immediately apply any fixes it may come up with all right and actually it completed a fix let's take a look so change the background color of the main container from BG Sync 800 to BG Sync 200. So that's correct. So now when I go back, the problem is solved. And so this type of styling clashes are actually pretty common, I find. So what about some more tricky issues? What about some logical errors we may have? So let's say I want to delete the first one here. We're dealing with that in this function here. We're not using IDs, we're just using the index. Now I may have some off by one error. This is actually super common in programming where it's like, because things start at zero in programming often. So it's zero, one, two, three. And so you'll find many mistakes have to do with that off by one issue. So you may have some clumsy mistake here where you do index plus one for some reason. And the problem now is a list like this. If I want to remove do the dishes, if I click on the first one, you can see I still have do the dishes it removed the other one so it's actually always removing the last one in the list now right so if i click on the first one you can see it's just removing the last one so it may not be immediately obvious why that's the case so i'm going to use Lata ai again for, for a trickier one let's see if it can still do a good job here i'm going to press enter let's see what it comes up with all right so it actually came with a fix let's see it can it gives us a overview here modify the handle remove task to remove the correct task based on the index the previous was always removing the last item okay so you can see it immediately changed my code here if i don't like that by the way i can also do Control z to get my code back right but i like this fix or at least let's try it out so i will just have a bunch of gibberish here and then i will have a test so i'm gonna click on the first one remove and you can see it was just removing the first one or the one that i actually clicked right so test at the bottom remains so it's not removing the last one all, all, all the time anymore so pretty slick cost me like 30 seconds to solve it with Lata ai previously yeah you may eventually solve it but maybe you do it in 30 minutes right or, or or 10 minutes so this could be much faster all right so i just added a new bug so now if i try to add something here to the to-do list and i click on add nothing is happening okay so there's a bug oh i don't know what's wrong so i'm gonna check the code here probably has to do something with adding the task here so i take a quick glance at this code and it's not immediately obvious what I'm doing wrong here. Now, as a developer, you can go into your code and you can try to find the, the bug, but often you'll have other people working on your team, maybe a product manager, maybe a QA tester, or maybe even a user, and they want to report the bug as well. So what we can also do is go to Lata AI's dashboard here, connect our GitHub account, and for this repo that we have, we can actually get a widget to very easily report bugs. So I want to implement this in my code. I just have a React app here. So here it will give me a script that I will 
include right here. And it will also give me this script here with an API key. I will add that right here as well. Now, when I go back to my project, you can see we have a button here so that we or other people can report bugs. Could be a product manager, QA engineer, anyone in your team. So I will actually submit this. I will submit this. Okay, so report has been submitted. When I go back to my Lata AI dashboard, if I go to issues here, you can see that we have a list of essentially bugs reported. I was already testing this out. This is the new one. If I click on it, it will actually replay the issue for you. And it does indeed show what happened here when the bug report was submitted. I'm actually showing you that in the previous one because I didn't record it. But what's really cool here is that we can run an AI fix here. So somebody could view the replay and then actually run an AI fix. So here we can then ask AI to make an attempt. So we can say, adding tasks doesn't work. Okay, so now we're gonna say to AI, good luck, let me see what you can do. And actually after a couple seconds, I actually get a pull request here in that GitHub repo with a suggested fix. So this is actually Letta AI posting this for me. So it's not like I wrote this myself. This is all Letta AI on behalf of me submitting a pull request here with a fix. So let's actually see in the commit what they changed. And actually, yes, let's AI got it right. Indeed, we need to add new task here to that array as well, right? So here, the mistake, of course, was that we didn't add new task here. That's why it didn't work. So we actually get the proper fix here. Let's actually merge this into our main branch. And let's pull this onto our computer here so we can check out the fix. So now I have new task here. Try this again. Add. You can see everything is working again. Lata AI fixed the bug for me. Really innovative. I have not seen this anywhere else. It allows you to keep track of which bugs are solved and which are unsolved. And you also get a nice dashboard here with an overview. So that was by adding a widget to the page, but we can also go directly from our GitHub repo and ask Lata AI to fix a bug. So I just added the bug back again. So we still have that issue with adding tasks. If you already have your code on GitHub, maybe as some staging environment, it's already here on GitHub. I can actually also go here and I can submit an issue like this. I have to pick the project and here I can also describe the issue and AI will actually try to fix it on GitHub. So now I can request AI to fix the issue. And you can see it's being queued. If I go to issues here, external, you can see it has been listed here as an issue that I reported. All right, and after a couple seconds, uh, Lada AI actually created a pull request here. Let's take a look. So it's actually this latest one. And in this pull request, so I connected Lata AI to my GitHub. So it's actually Lata AI creating this uh, pull request. So I'm not writing it myself. This is all created by Lata AI. So it's saying something about handle add task. Uh, okay, we can check what they added here. Let's take a look. All right, so you can see they're actually suggesting this fix here. And that is indeed correct. Of course, when we set the tasks, it should also add the newly added task, not just copy over all the previous ones. So this is indeed the correct task. So I can merge this. Cool. So, and I can also show the results here in the dashboard, nicely tracking the issues that we have. So overall, I have to say a pretty slick tool. Uh, so I would say as a strategy, try to quickly try to fix it yourself if you can. Otherwise, it may be a good idea to let Letta AI take a look at it. So I would say give Letta AI a chance. You can find a link in the description. I'm generally impressed with what they came up with. Really excited to see where it goes. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. I want to thank you for watching. Have a nice day. See you the next one. Bye.